The communization of America. It's been a slow, creeping communism slithering into our society for years now. First, it was the Clintons. Now it's the Bidens. But everyone seems to answer to the leader of the progressive, the communist push to turn America into a totalitarian state, the Obama. These are the de facto leaders, folks, right there, of this move towards socialism, where government controls everything, your every move, your every decision, what you eat, what you can drink who you can socialize with, even what you can think. Hillary Clinton wrote a book as first lady. Well, she was actually the president running the White House while Bill Clinton was running around the White House, chasing skirts, as they say, catching too many of them, by the way. Anyway, while the lady behind the curtain pulling all of the levers, Hillary wrote a book. It's called It Takes a Village. Interesting title there, stolen from African folklore, which meant simply something completely different. You see, in an African village, it was safe to leave your child with a neighbor or a friend or a relative while you worked because everyone shared the same values. Everyone in the village was homogenous in their beliefs, in their daily lives. You see, there were none of these to worry about, that your kids may not be ta being taught the things that you as parents believe you don't want for your kids. Watch. Look for teaching the children tomorrow. Feels very Harvey Milk meets Harvey Dent. I'm here to recruit you. The fit check. My admin's actually very okay with me wearing heels. I'm coming to school in drag sometimes. I used to put on makeup, but now it's too early in the morning, so that's not happening anymore. But like, yeah, they're pretty cool with it. They just think I'm making a safe place for my kids. I'm yeah, pretty sure those villagers weren't subject to that. And I'm pretty sure African villages were lucky enough not to have story time sessions for the little kitties featuring this winner right there, the drag queen or king or whatever it is when you go male to female singing little baby shark, shark, shark to the two year old who's clapping. I don't think that goes on in African villages. No, Hillary use that innocuous title it takes a village to sneak into the discourse a hard left socialist agenda in her book Hillary Clinton again hiding behind the guise of a safe environment of the African village the radical ideas of these increased gun controls plan B contraception community policing raising minimum wages universal health care basically the far left agenda right there all in one spot in her book when Barack Obama took over, he radicalized the country, but he did it with, a, with an eloquent tongue. But while he spoke with such style and smiles, Barack Obama delivered the most radical leftist agenda America has ever seen. This line says it all. This one line delivered in a passionate way, let the cat out of the leftist bag the fact that the liberals believe that government, the state, is responsible for everything we have. If you've got a business, that, you didn't build that. Somebody else made that happen. Oh, BS, President Obama. We didn't build it. Why, do you nuts? What the hell do you mean anyway? It's not our hard work. Of course it is. It's not risking our family's well-being. Of course we did. After all, so many people have had a dream, put their blood, sweat, and tears into their dream, dropped their life savings into it just to achieve that dream. Many times it failed. And families struggled. Sometimes it succeeded. Under Armour started out in the trunk of two guys' car in Baltimore. And the grocery chain Publix started out as a food market on the street. Billion dollar corporations. There are literally thousands of businesses that started that way. And Obama and the liberal left want you to thank them for all of that. They're insane, and they want to control you. That's their actual goal. They want to control your every move, your business, therefore your sex. It also, they also want to decide what you do with it, how much of your business they can take. After all, according to them, yours is theirs. But is theirs yours? Oh, oh hell no. So while the puppet master, Obama, continues his radical sprawl across the American landscape, Biden is carrying out the next phase of the plan, and this, folks, may be the most important phase of all. In order to indoctrinate the citizenry of America, they need to control what you think. Once they have that thought control, it's game over. That's why yesterday I was all over the top 
warning about this new misinformation board the Obama administration, oops, I mean the Biden administration, just unveiled. Our undersecretary uh, for policy, Rob Silvers, is co-chair uh, with our principal deputy general counsel, Jennifer Daskal, in um, leading a just recently constituted uh, misinformation, disinformation governance board. Wow. Right there. That's the final cog in the totalitarian machine the leftists are building to take away our freedoms. A misinformation board. Has anyone asked who sits on this board and where they came from? Has anyone asked what are the criteria of what is misinformation and what is real? Has anyone asked what punishment their subjects, journalists, politicians, regular people walking around the street will be subjected to? This is very alarming. I can't jump up and down and yell loud enough. We need to stop this in its tracks. It's a breeding ground for bias, judgment without jury, prejudice. It's the final piece of the socialist puzzle, and we need to 86 it before it becomes a thing. If nothing else, we need a bunch of conservatives around the country using this misinformation board idea and run against every Democrat in America at every level of government and ask the people, the voters, are you in favor of this Democrat idea to have a board decide what you're allowed to think and say and do? If you think I'm being a little overreactive, a little too worried about this sort of thing, look at what happened just the other day when a parent wanted to exercise her lawful right to speak at a school board meeting. She was cut off and physically removed by security at a school board meeting where her child att attended school in that district. Cut off. By the way, before she even spoke, because here is the most important part of all. The school board president stopped the mom because, as she put it, she knew what the mom was about to say. She knew. Then the cops came in and removed the mom. Again, not for something she did or said. Mom was removed for something the school board overlord believed the mom was about to say. And that is not the America we know. And now, this newly formed misinformation board is that school board on steroids. They will decide what you can say according to their own agenda, and how you will be punished according to how much it exposes the radical agenda. By the way, the person Obama, I mean, Biden chose to head that misinformation board is this one right here, Nina Jankowitz. She's a radical left winger who is very vocal about how the Hunter Biden laptop story was, wait for it, misinformation. That's right, the new misinformation czar sucks at recognizing misinformation, but is really good at de delivering propaganda. Oh, and by the way, she's got great pipes. Bombering is really quite ferocious. It's when a huckster takes some lies and makes them sound precocious by saying them in Congress or a mainstream outlet. So disinformation's origins are slightly less atrocious. That's the new misinformation czar right there. Hey, Nina, if you need a little vice presidential help of misinformation, me will help to get your job going. I got a suggestion for you. How about this guy right here? It's about you. That's what we're talking about. Here. All right, that's the, end of the, here. that's the end of the Shouldn't segment. We're, mov we're moving on. You didn't take them. Well, vice President, ex no. I, can I be honest? It's a very important Try to be question. honest. No, I, I stood good. up. No, I, I, the answer to the question is no. Ukraine. It, no, I, sir. With a billion dollars, if you that get rid is of absolutely you know what, you're, wait, not you're true. Tape you're doing it. You're going to have tape. true. Gentlemen, is, <laughs> I hate to raise my voice, but I see it tape. seems to be. Why should I be different than the two of you? There he is. Chris Wallace, that guy right there, I hear he's looking for a job. It's my recommendation.